Up the Dutch Championship Award three times and will be repping Manchester United for a third consecutive season. Harry, lots of reasons to like this one, that's for sure. Both sets of players for these clubs trust each other inside and out. On the left-hand side, you have Mestre. On the right-hand side, how cool did he look, by the way, Wes, in Old Trafford, just nonchalantly saying, yeah, we want to get to the top of this league. We want to win the whole thing. It's Eldridge O'Neill. Yeah, he's literally made for a stage. Uh, in, in in bygone years, I have played Eldridge O'Neill in a 1v1 competition. I tell you something right now, it's not fun, guys. I <laughs> promise you now it's not fun. And on the flip side of that, I've seen Mestre do some unbelievable things in 1v1. So this is as mouth-watering an affair as you saw in the first game of the first tie in Kills You and there's Maccabee. For me, you know, we've seen emotion and we see passion from both of these guys when we've seen it, you know, in, in, in local events. So, uh, you know, I'm hoping to see exactly that same passion even when they're in their own houses. Absolutely. Some final tweaks for either side. You can see Mestre seeing exactly how... His opponent is going to be lining up, and I have no doubt that Eldridge will be taking a moment to make sure he does the same in turn. So then, our second match of match day one is moments away from kickoff. Both of these clubs have seen already Celtic and Monaco go head to head. They know what to expect. The pressure is off them. They know they don't have to open the show, but they certainly are responsible for filling it with entertainment, Wes, as we kick off Manchester United versus Bayern München. Yeah, I think this is gearing up to be a little bit of a coming out party for Man United. I think at times they've almost flattered to deceive in competitions past, and I think they'll be looking, you know, to make a statement here. Oh, well, the opening goal for Manchester United from CR7. It took just three minutes and one attack. And Eldridge opens the scoring. The Red Devils starting off so strongly. Well, if you're looking to put, you know, doubters away, there's one man you look to. It's your talents, man. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. And again, it's it's that wing play that we're seeing. It cuts the ball inside. We saw it a lot in the first game. It's Pogba with the slide rule pass. Goes through the legs of uh, a midfielder. And it's just tucked away beautifully by Ronaldo. And uh, Man United are off and running here. And, and this could be <laughs> this could be the, uh, the kind of the lighter of the touch paper. Well, straight away from kickoff, Lewandowski's trying to get in behind, but the goalkeeper improvises. Something tells me that marks the first man and comes over to Sane now. All one back by Mestre. Here is Goretzka, and he goes for goal from such a distance! And succeeds in finding the net! What an incredible goal from Mestre! The equaliser is found in the first half, and it's 1-1. What a strike. I mean, we've seen dummies and controlled shots, for, you know, at, at great length during this game. But you can see here, that left-hand side, you just keep seeing, uh, you keep seeing shots going in from that angle. You can see that it's something that these players are working on, but it's leaving these gaps, as you can see. When you set a runner off, it's leaving gaps. That neat little dummy using almost the... See their confirmation. Mestre, the latest goal scorer to make it one apiece. Just pulling his midfielders back a little bit deeper was Eldridge, and you can see him here now on the attack with Rashford. Cuts inside. Not once, but twice. Now Mestre will come the other way. Nope, it's actually... Eldridge now, who finds Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he get a strike away? 2-1. It's that man again. Cristiano Ronaldo as Manchester United reinstate their lead. 
And he's got a foot like a traction engine, Ronaldo has, but he gets it on that peg and he just thunders it into the bot into the top corner. And again, you look at it and you just go, where is that goalkeeper going to go? And again, if you're at home and you're trying to think, how do I beat manual goalkeepers? Hit it as hard as you can. Hit it as hard as you can, because we're seeing here, at least if you've got Ronaldo, just hit it as hard as you can and make the keeper and make your opponent make a decision. It's a brilliant finish. All right, had absolutely no chance. And quite rightly, as you said, Harry, we haven't, we've not seen the last of that celebration at all during this competition. It's the talisman again. Mestre going straight from the kickoff. Lewandowski gets it under control. Oh, it's, it's total defense. Come on, man. And from one talisman to another, within a matter of moments, it's the equaliser. Bayern 2-2. And you can hear Eldridge again not happy with how his team is performing out there on the virtual pitch. But Mestre won't mind one single bit straight from the kickoff 2-2. Yeah, you've got to say switched on from the kickoff. It's, you know, again, if this, you know, your defence falls asleep, you have to make sure you are in control of one of them just to make sure that you can cover that off. But again, if it's there, it's going to be used, unfortunately. But again, Bayern Munich are not going to care. It's 2-2 and they're going to be back on level terms after Man United's very, very good start. You can see Eldridge you know, you heard him say, I'm on total defence, there's nothing more I can do. And and it's true, there is not a lot more you can do unless you grab a defender and defend it yourself. Well, maybe that's going to be what the doctors ordered. Mestre with his second goal of the game. Four goals in half an hour played, by the way. Maybe these two sets of players have a bit of a bet on as to who will score or capture the golden boot at the end of the season, I should say. Here's Ronaldo again. He's on a hat-trick, by the way. It will come forward once more. Cavani to Cristiano Ronaldo! And there's the hat-trick! Come on. It's all the threes. It's three in 33 minutes. It's Manchester United three. Bayern two. Yeah, if you're Manchester United, you just keep smashing. That's all you do. Get it to Ronaldo. <laughs> that seems to be the game plan. It, it, you know, uh, arguably it's been their way domestically. Get the ball to him and hope for something. But it's certainly working out for them well here. Brilliant little ball in from Cavani. Goalkeeper had absolutely no chance once again. And Ronaldo just doing Ronaldo things uh, all over this competition already. We're not even into the second half of the first game, and he's already got three. <laughs> You can hear the Bayern teammates of trying to G him up for the rest of this game. Still so much he's match day. But so far, 3-2 in 33 minutes. Celtic and Monaco will be watching on and wondering how to deal with Cristiano Ronaldo because he, not for the first time in this game, has found pockets of space that potentially other virtual players on the pitch would not regularly find Rashford with the corner drilled into that far post but dealt with at the first time of asking yeah I'm hoping this game settles down just a little bit now gives us half a second to, to get our breath there's been so many goals in this game so far Bruno Fernandes has gone down looking for a free kick but Referee is way play on, and that's going to allow Serge Nabry to... Just two minutes added on at the end of this first half. Ball still in play, so... It is, as you quite rightly once pointed out to me, where it's a minimum of two minutes. That shot creeping just past the post, and that will signal the end of that action-packed first half. And breathe, everyone. Breathe, <laughs> Dosky. Do they have it in the locker to be able to contend with them? Well, it's an interesting point you raise, Wes, as we kick off this second half of game one. These two clubs have a wealth of talent to introduce into the game. I'll come back to that as Lewandowski turns. And Henderson gets a strong hand to it. If there's a match to see the different tactical options that these eFootball Championship Pro clubs have to offer. It's going to be this one. Two massive clubs with plenty 
of talent, even on that subs bench. Here is Cavani into Cristiano Ronaldo, who's chasing his fourth. Wouldn't be surprised in around, it, what, 10 in-game minutes? Time for there maybe to be some of those subs we've alluded to as Bayern try and come forward again. Nabry on the edge, goes into the box, and well, how has that found the back of the net there? The defenders, the goalkeeper, someone has to do something there, but Bayern, the celebrations continue. A third equaliser for them. To make it three all between these two great historic clubs. Yeah, I think looking at the goal, I mean, looking at it in real time, it's more a, a, another a piece of almost using the players or the opponents that are in front of you almost as a shield. This is a perfect view of it. It's Harry Maguire who's looking to defend it there. Nabry, and it gets across. It's Scott McTominay. And you can just see there, oh. it's just blocked field of vision. Uh, you know, the ability, though, you still have to be able to execute that type of goal. And again, controlled shots are the, the kind of almost the, the, the curved shots that you'll see. You know, they're not the stunning shots that you'll see. It's the curved ones that will do the damage. And, and we're seeing that in, in buckets here. Well, as you said, in real time, it, it definitely deceived us, but uh, deceived the goalkeeper as well as, well, United straight from the kickoff trying to uh, maybe give one back to Bayern Munich will be the outswinger potentially a driven cross here as well from the corner deflection back to Bruno Fernandes here is Paul Pogba to Cavani turns and Rashford is there It's a seven-goal thriller, and we're not done yet. Manchester United score their fourth of the match. It got recycled back out. But again, a little bit of fortune there. There's a vantage in the ref. It's a, it's a good save from Ulrich, but again, puts it straight into the path of Rashford, who you can see they're just left of your screen. As soon as that shot's there, you can see he's already pointing to for the pass, so he's already got that momentum to run in and take on the shot should it spill. And lo and behold, it does. Rashford makes it 4-3. Eldridge will be delighted. Mestre looking very frustrated. Uh, at what's just happened but again it's, it's not going to matter how these goals go into these players it's the fact that they're hitting the back of the net so that will leave Mestre in search of a fourth equaliser of this game so far and I say so far because we still have another he knows this would be a massive massive three points for Manchester United to take home. The Mestre, though, it's all to do. Here's Chupo Moting. And he's been hacked down, and the yellow will be shown to Aaron Rambisaka for that one. Free kick to come. Played short then to Kingsley Coleman. Lewandowski as well gets a strike away and it's the equaliser for Bayern München. 82nd minute. It's been back and forth. There's been eight goals. But for now, and I mean for now, it is four goals apiece. You can just see them working the space by me and you can see you know, these players will not shoot, or at least they'll very rarely shoot from free kicks because they know that they can make a better opportunity here. And you see, frantically trying to get the ball away, but it didn't matter a jot. Lewandowski will do what Lewandowski does as a forward, arguably one of the best on the, on the planet, and, and he's proving. They've got their advice. They've got their instructions. And credit to Mestre. 1 0 down, gets the equalizer. 2 1 down, gets the equalizer. And so on and so forth until we approach where we are now. And there's a chance to win it here as well. A great run from deep there. But nothing doing. Manchester United survive.
approaching the 90th now. Is there one last chance for either of these two players, either of these two clubs in game one? Here is Rashford, space to turn, lovely double touch. Goalkeeper got a good sight of it and might that just allow enough time for Bayern to come forward now. Fred steps in the way and well, like the flip of a coin, it comes back the other way, Fred. Last chance of this game one, and it will be a free kick in a dangerous position here. And you heard Eldred say, I've got the last one. This is this will be the last opportunity. It's what can he do with it? I believe it's Hannibal that's standing over the ball. To be whipped in low, but Kimmich is there. And I think he'll boot this one. And a fair contest all round. An absolutely explosive first game of match day one for both of these two clubs. Eight goals, Wes. I mean, where do we even begin to start? He went 1-0 one -nil, one -nil down very early on in the game. But to keep bringing himself back and back and back again, it's great to see from him. But again, for me, it was all about Ronaldo. It was all about his very key hat trick to to get you know involved in the in the game and and again eldridge did some great work with him and again i think all around i think 4-4 is a is a fair result i think given the the the, the quality of e-football that we saw on show some wonderful pieces of skill and some great goals i mean we've just seen goretzka there that probably the pick of the bunch a beautiful goal from very far away and for those of you wondering of course uh, we were very excited for this game not only because these are two huge clubs but every time they've they've matched in the past they've given us this sort of entertainment in seasons gone by but also Wes, they haven't changed their players this season they've stuck with the same three on both sides it's great to see that type of loyalty rewarded and well, what we saw in game one, if that's anything to, to go by in games two and three, as we see, again, these goals just tick in. Uh, it, it's just going to be edge of your seat entertainment, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, if you were looking at probably at both of, uh, of, you know, both the Man United lineup and the Bayern Munich lineup, you'd probably look and go, well, Mestre and O'Neill, probably the two most attacking players of their trios. Um, I think we'll probably see a different type of game, maybe from Alex Alvarez, from Cams, from Ostrubuc, from Jose. I think we'll see, you know, whoever it is that is in game two, we'll certainly see, I think, a very different dynamic than the one we saw here, because this was, it was just rock and roll football from start to finish. It was just goals everywhere. It was everything as a, as a neutral that you would have asked for. Absolutely, there was... Nabry's goal to make it just 3-3 three, three at this point. Cool as you like from Mestre, fist bumps all around. There's the angle that we were questioning why it was so easy for that ball to find the back of the net and then at 3-3, three, three, Rashford reacts quickest to reinstate the lead for a third time to Manchester United. But then, we weren't done yet as yes. there were still plenty of action and and you said didn't you Wes at that point when Ronaldo hits it off the post that could come back to bite Manchester United and it did with this fourth equaliser for Bayern Munich yeah Mystic Wes strikes again <laughs> <laughs> in my manner of predictions although I didn't answer